Hey guys, this is one of my favorite showcases to do because on Eros, the people who make these visualizations packs do the best ArcViz packs for Unity. They absolutely knock the quality out of the pack every single time. So this is a feature of ArcViz Pro Volume 7 and this video is going to feature some in-depth look at the features that are used in this actual ArcViz. Some questions that have been asked to the developer in terms of helping you and looking at some of the features in the high definition render pipeline and be sure to check out this ArcViz pack if it's something for you. So to get started about the specifically ArcViz Pro on Honoros themselves, they make visualization packs for Unity specifically. They do this from the ground up and they pick a specific place or feature and build it very meticulously with all the models that are used throughout with specific lighting to reach a very photorealistic style which everybody thinks that you can't necessarily reach in Unity but they always manage to do it and it's using the GPU progressive light mapper in the more modern versions of Unity which is so much faster than the general CPU light mapper that was in previous versions. It will speed up general rendering by 10 times in my opinion when I've done it myself. The Outfiz Pro Interior Volume 7 is a specific HDRP and features on the universal render pipeline 2 featuring the Azuma house and it's a fully navigatable building with an interior which composed of four specific rooms and an outdoor area composed of a small courtyard, stairs and a walkway. It's built from scratch with over 200 furniture props and models, custom shaders, 4k textures and with a lot of multi-platforms included which include PC, VR and mobile and the great thing is if you like these packs you can use the model assets across other projects that you might be doing and it allows you to look at how they've set up the lighting, the post processing, the custom shaders for the rain, the ripples and the fabric which goes a long way to making a realistic looking scene. So as you can see the video in the background showcasing some of the content, I wanted to go over some of the new things in the high definition render pipeline that are helpful to you that they have used in this actual visualization to either make the lighting easier or the quality more substantial. So in the HDRP, Unity introduced something called light layers, let you specifically, just like with normal layers in Unity, you can set things that are game objects that live on a particular layer and say if, say if for instance, our chair here you can see inside of unity is that the red one you can see on the right hand side in the inspector that it is got on rendering a light layer mask one and there's a whole bunch of other ones which they, uh, these guys might have used in here but each of the rooms as you can see on the screen is split up into specific light layers and if you specify by layer other lights won't be taken into account because if you set the lights in this room specifically only on light layer 1 and you specify the object to be on light layer 1 too only the lights will affect these objects within this room so objects outside won't be affected by room with light layer 1 which makes it an awful lot easier just to manage and be more optimized. As I've said, this specifically uses the progressive GPU light mapper within new versions of Unity, and the Honoros team suggests that with a GTX 1070, it takes around one hour to bake, and it is fairly VRAM intensive, so based on the memory of your graphics card, and which, all in all, for the quality that you see here, is not bad, and if you were doing that on the CPU side, that'd probably take you a long, long time but you can bake scenes like this if you lower overall resolutions of the light mapping on the light map resolution. And the whole scene uses the shadow mask technique to bake the main lights within the scenes. And they have specific to each game object that they have that lives in the world, it's specified and it has its own light mapping properties. So the parameters based on the particular objects that exist in a room. So it's very specific to if it's a living room area, that it will bake with tags so you can specify settings if you need it to look a little bit lighter in a particular area for certain game objects you can specify that and this, this pack does use the shaded graph for specific custom shaders for a double sided shader the actual rim fabric of most of the materials for the particles they use the normal particle system within unity to create the 
rain ripples. It's a flick buck shader, which simulates the rain ripples and it uses a vertex texture and a te mask texture control that effect. And similar with the specific raindrop effects or the streaks in the window, it uses some as shader to simulate the rain streaks on the glass and uses a reflect refractive shader for that. And the vegetation also has a shader which controls the wind animation for the specific plants themselves to give it that very realistic look because hence the rain and other things. And for HDRP, this scene also has volume profiles which control the post-processing in a particular area, often like you would see in things like Unreal Engine, which it was common in originally, that you could set a volume and enter a specific area, and you could change the overall look. I mean, you can see it in Resident Evil 7, actually, when you go into a dark corridor from the sort of more safe, lit up areas, it will completely go to really black and color correct to a overall sort of bluish tinge so it allows you to control yet again specific features about what you, how you want it to look in a specific area if you've got too much light bleeding or you've got too much exposure maybe in a particular area. I asked the developers and they were kind enough to give some responses to some of the questions that I thought might be helpful and might help you think about if you wanted to create one of these scenes yourself. So I asked that how many polygons were in this overall scene and they said about 1.4 million polygons which includes the house, furniture and all the props, hence this is a high quality demo and realistically that isn't an insane amount especially when we bake the quality of the lighting out. I did already mention about the custom shaders that they used and they used, like I said, they specifically used the shader graphs to create the specific rain for the ground, the grass, the wind and other vegetation variants and for the specific furniture. And you can also think, see things that are created for the actual fabrics, the velvet and other things on the materials themselves and all the specific rain details and effects that you see. And be sure to check out their new website that features and has a playable version of this demo so you can actually download it and have a little run around. You can look at the pack on the Unity Asset Store. Be sure to check them out on YouTube, follow them on Twitter, Facebook and all the social medias. I'll leave all the links in the description. So be sure to check this out if you want a whole host of exquisite PBR models. If you want to look at lighting, learn the ins and outs of HDR and see how something so amazing is created inside of Unity. So if there's anything that you'd like to know, you can leave me a comment or message me. Join the Discord if you want to showcase some of your things that you've created or ask me some questions there. I'll be happy to go into more features of HDRP or things in this demo. Or be sure to ask the developers themselves. So thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Cheers.